Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to cardiology lectures. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. I have been a cardiologist at the Texas Medical Center for more than three decades and today we are going to look at the electrical system of the heart and how the impulse is propagated through the heart. It is also called the conduction system of the heart. So, let us begin. The electrical system of the heart basically consists of the sinus node, the AV node, then we have the internodal connections, then we have the bundle of His, the right and the left bundle branches, then we have the Purkinje fibers and finally the myocardial tissue itself. The sinus node acts as a pacemaker, that is it generates a spontaneous impulse at a range of 60 to 100 per minute which activates the atria and the ventricles and this impulse is propagated through these electrical channels which have special properties which we are going to look into shortly. The sinus node is located at the junction of the superior vena cava and the upper part of the right atrium and from there we have three internodal branches which connect the sinus node to the AV node in the right atrium. Then we have another pathway going to the left atrium to activate the left atrium known as the Bachmann bundle. You may get a question about Bachmann bundle, so please keep that in mind. Now let us look at some of the, the electrical features of the the sinus and the AV node and uh, the myocardial tissue itself because every part of the heart has the ability to spontaneously activate itself uh, to create a contraction of the atria or the ventricle. Here is the action potential of the actual ventricular myocyte. Here we have the, the resting membrane potential and once the impulse reaches from the Purkinje fibers, it is activated. Then we have phase 0, which is the depolarization of the ventricle and that is followed by phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3. And contrast this with the sinus node action potential where the resting membrane potential instead of being constant, it gradually comes up to a threshold at which time there is a spontaneous depolarization. As a result, the sinus node is able to activate itself at a constant rate. So that is one of the important uh, aspects of the sinus node and the AV node uh, action potential. Now let us look at the time intervals are extremely important and that will help us understand why there is a time delay and why it is important to measure their time taken by the impulse to conduct from the sinus node to the AV node and from the AV node to the myocardium itself. From the sinus node, it takes 30 milliseconds for the impulse to reach AV node and from the AV node, for it to go through the bundle of His and Purkinje fibers, it takes uh, 130 milliseconds. From the Purkinje fibers, it takes at least another 20 milliseconds and from then for the ventricle to be activated before the ventricle can contract, uh, it takes another 30 seconds. Overall, there is a 220 milliseconds delay from the time the impulse leaves the sinus node, traverses through the bundle of His and the AV node and eventually activate the ventricles. What regulates the sinus node and the AV node function? To answer that question, we have the autonomic nervous system consisting of the sympathetic stimulation through the adrenaline system and the parasympathetic system through the vagal stimulation and through the release of acetylcholine. They very intricately manage the heart rate and the heart rhythm. For example, stimulation of the sympathetic system as I said releases the adrenaline which can increase the heart rate, it can increase the AV conduction, it can increase the contractility of the ventricle and reduce the PR interval. This is exactly what happens during exercise. The signals that are sent from the heart reach the medullary 
cardiovascular center. From there, the sympathetic sim system is stimulated to keep up with the heart rate to meet the myocardial oxygen demands during exercise. This is also the response that we see in a fight or a flight uh, situation. Fight situation is brought on by the sympathetic stimulation with the adrenaline release that increases the heart rate, that increases flushing, that increases contractility and prepares the person to fight. Now let's look at the vagal stimulation or the flight. If you are under intense stress, there could be a stimulation of the vagus system and through the vagus there is release of acetylcholine uh, which acts directly on the sinus node and the AB node thus decreasing the heart rate. They also decrease the AB conduction. As a result, we can get slowing of the heart rate and in some case, in many cases uh, there could be a pause for several seconds before the heart rate resumes. In addition to that, the release of acetylcholine throughout the body also causes vasodilatation both in the arterial system and in the venous system leading to profound drop in blood pressure which accounts for people fainting which you might have heard as a common faint or the vasovagal syncope. This way both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems constantly adjust the heart rate and rhythm based on the myocardial oxygen demand that is placed on the heart at any given time. Now let's look at how the heart functions mechanically based on the electrical activity of the conduction system. The sinus node discharges the impulse. It takes 30 milliseconds for it to, to reach the right and the right, left atrium. When the right and the left atrium contract, the impulse is delayed in the AB node and in the Purkinje system until such time the atria can squeeze into the ventricles. Then when the impulse reaches the ventricles, it activates both ventricles simultaneously. So they squeeze and empty the blood into the pulmonary and uh, systemic circulations. Um, Here is the representation. What makes the heart beat like one single unit? Even though we are talking about a single myocardial cell action potential or a single sinus node action potential. The beauty is the electrical system that is coming through the bundle branches divides into very fine branches known as the Purkinje fibers which supply the entire cardial cells. As a result, when the atria are activated, both the right and the left act like one single unit. They contract at the same time. Similarly, when the ventricles are activated through the Purkinje system, they act like a single unit so that the entire ventricular musculature contracts or squeezes at the same time. The purpose of the AB node is to delay the impulse because when the, vent when the atria empty into the ventricles, there has to be enough time for the ventricles to generate uh, pressure that has to exceed the corresponding outflow artery, namely the pulmonary and the aorta. That is going to take some time. So the electrical delay accommodates that time to allow the ventricles to go through the isometric contraction phase so that the ventricles have time to generate the pressure to pump the blood into the pulmonary artery or the systemic circulation. One more thing I would like to talk about is the accessory pathways. Sometimes in addition to the normal electrical pathways we have, sometimes we can have accessory pathways in the heart, in the upper chambers or even in the ventricular or musculature which can create a, a circuit that can lead to significant uh, tachyarrhythmias. One such example is a patient with a WPW 
who can have accessory pathways in the atria and it can create a circuit within the atrial uh, chambers or it can have an impulse coming from the bundle branches and then going through the accessory pathway through the atrium create a AV nodal re-entry as a result there could be significant arrhythmias as we see in patients with uh, atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation in the presence of uh, WPW or the Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a quick review of electrical system or the conduction system of the heart. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you would like us to prepare a video on any other particular topic in the field of cardiology, uh, please leave us some comments below and we will do the research and uh, create a video on that particular topic. Again, thank you so much and we will see you next time.